Okay. Okay. Be careful, Danny. Okay, firstly we'll go around go over the heating. Your Truma, your Truma panel. This might be your job. Yeah, okay. this is your turn. So because it's, we're indoors now. Yes, okay. So I just switched it on there. I just Because it, it decided to have a funny on me when, when we unleashed it from your car. So power on is basically press and hold to switch it on. Your caravan here is represented by the motorhome with the thermometer in. See it flashing there? You basically whatever you're controlling with the thimble here is, is, what, is what you're controlling yeah. below the line yeah it's flashing above the line to tell you that what we selected is actually working so I'll click on the flashing camper yeah. temperature I set it for is 20 degrees at the moment yeah. it, it will go up to 30 right that's hot or, or about as little as five okay yeah. or off altogether so I'll set it about 20 again. You basically, 25, isn't that nice? 20, 25. No, that's too much. <laughs> We're still on sell up leisure gas. So okay. We'll do that. But it shows you here while it's working, it's flashing. What I'll do is I'll turn it down to 10, which will switch the heating off, it'll stop flashing. Right. Once it gets, once it gets the brain wave. You see the heating stopped flashing, but since we're still on the motor, on, on the cap, on the setting the heating in the caravan it goes back to standby screen so I'll click again on that and turn it up to 25 now that that will start flashing again that basically shows you the heating's working yeah when it's not flashing the heating's not working when it is flashing the heating yeah. is so, working so it's taking from the gas this is it's taking from gas and electric so I've set it actually not taking from gas at all at the moment at the moment it's shown we're just using electric we'll go there's no, there's no so, gas attached though is there at the moment yeah, should we use, yeah, there is use mains. gas mains? Oh right, okay. That, that pipe going in is the ah, gas right, supply. Okay. Okay. We've got a, we've got they've got their own field somewhere in the in the up north. So I'll click it. Mm -hmm. I'll click it along one. So we're we're in the thermometer in the water. This is basically representing your your water heater. At the moment, it's on eco, which is forty degrees. I'm told. Okay. Turn it up to hot. Yeah. See, it's gone up to hot on the little on the yeah. top icon. Yeah. That is sixty degrees. If you want to boost it, say you're using the shower and hot water a lot, yeah. basically click it on that. That will use all the fuels you possibly can to keep up with you if you're using a lot of hot water. But my advice would be to keep it on eco yeah. for the meantime, yeah. because if you have it on, keep it on hot or mm -hmm. boost, you're basically mm -hmm. eating water you ain't going to be using, burning right. fuel you ain't going to be using. Yeah. And you okay. must remember, down where your young lady is uh, yeah. right now, is where the boiler is, and it makes that end of the caravan very hot. Okay. Okay. Eco should be fine. Eco should be fine for most of the time, but if you're using the shower, taking you know, get a bit carried away. Before you go in, I recommend you switch. Make sure the water pump, which is this one here, it's actually switched itself off. Is switched on. The little LED. It's actually pumped a little bit. Just caught up. What's that doing? The water it's, pump. The, it's the water pump. It's drawing water on board. Must That's going on all the time. Must, must be one of the taps is uh, slightly open or something. Is that water pump got to be on all the time then? It, it switches itself off periodically. Right. But uh, if you're going to be using the water, like taking taking shower, one shower after the other, switch it on before you get in, get in for yours, so there's hot water on board for your shower. Because if you don't turn, the, if, it, if, if you shut it off, like if it shuts off, you go in and have your shower, there'll be no hot water in the tank, because it won't automatically switch itself on. Right. So it's really totally the caravan. Well, yes. Yeah. Well, like I say, it does. It does switch itself off after a while. Yeah. Okay. Shouldn't be doing that. I have to get that looked at. Shouldn't be doing. It shouldn't be pumping now. Should have water in. Okay. So that's your water. We'll go over to your fuels. Are represented by the gas bottle and electric strikes. At the moment, he's showing we're using electricity. You can use gas on its own. You see the gas bottle up there on its own. Mixed one. It's using. Uh, gas and one kilowatt of electricity. Mix two, which is gas and two kilowatts of electricity. Which is basically all the fuel we can use at the moment. So we could switch that to full electricity if we wanted or to. If you want to just use electricity, yeah. electricity on its own. Yeah. I don't want to dry the place. So out. what do you recommend then? Electricity on its own or? Uh, 
if you want to use electricity, well, it's your choice. This time, this time of year, you might not be using the gas all that much. But since we're just, this is just for heating water, heating airspace and water. water. Use electricity. Then. Just use electricity yeah. because your system is a warm air system. Mm. You can hear the fan going there. Yeah. It's basically blowing warm air. There's uh, channels in just above about ankle height here and around the caravan. One in the bathroom. I don't know if you can see one. Can't see one right now. But down there, there oh, are the, the basically warm air vents. Oh yeah, this is blowing warm air. It circulate warm air around the caravan. Talking of fans. We'll go over to the fan here, click on that, at the moment it's on high, which is showing, which is what it's it kicked in a bit. You can turn it down to eco so it uses the uh, economical amount of fuel as possible to bring the air temperature up. That's the heating there. That's, the heating, the, that's the heating alone, yes. Okay. It's basically like a big fan heater. Yeah. Okay, any questions on that one? Yeah, Kodak. Okay, I'm not sure it's like it. So really what, can you just go over the symbols again from left to right? So, okay. okay. At the moment it's showing you what's working above above the solid line. What we control with this is basically what's below the solid white line, solid 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 dark line. Yeah. The caravan's represented by the motor home there. I've set it to be at 25 degrees, but you set it literally yeah. turn it okay. wherever you want it. Press yeah. sets it at that. Water the same. Yeah. Eco, high or boost. Yeah. It changes it above the line as well. Where, whichever one you press it at, it will stay at. Same with the fuel. We're using mix two, which is gas so and all the like two piece, kilowatts yeah. of electric at the moment. Gas on its own. Yeah. See. Mix. Gas and one kilowatt electric. If yeah. you're on a limited ampage, limited ampage pitch, gas and two kilowatts electricity. Electricity. Click on that, and it will stay on it. Okay. On the screen there, it's also showing you all your mains is hooked up to it. Right. So you have the use of electricity. Yes. Obviously, it won't work on if you haven't got any gas or electric plug, plugged into it. It won't work at all. Mm -hmm. right. It'll just switch on and tell you fault. <laughs> It'll flick. It flicks from time. Which that isn't the right time. I know to room temperature periodically. This one down here. I'll take it along the bottom line now. That's for your timer. If you want it to come in, come on in the night or a certain time of day while you're out. This one is for setting the time itself, which which I can do now actually. It's basically 11.32. There's an instruction book with this then, is there, as well? Yeah. Yeah. 11.32, there you are, clock right. set now. And this one's basically settings. Okay. And it's, you don't really, you won't really need to get into that. If you stop messing around in there, you'll be in all manner of depth. You'll have okay. to call the service engineer out anyway. Okay. This here, is actually the thermometer for the heating light. So there's something on this one, which is your main swift command unit, which talks to that one, if you have it on the app. Right. Which I'm presuming you're gonna do. Yeah. Okay, now we'll go over this one. There's a little eye in here. Once you wave your hand in front of the screen, it turns, mm -hmm. wake, wakes it up. You see there, the water pump light is off. I'm sure that's, that's got a leak in it's got that, um, it's cut off now. Here it's just cut off. As long as you, as long as that light is on, whatever water you take from the taps or shower, your boiler will refill itself. Okay. But like I said, periodically, quarter of an hour, twenty minutes time, that will switch actually off. switch itself off. It goes into a standby mode. Okay. If you're not using it. So if before, you, before we use water, we need to put that if, on. If you're, if you're using it regularly, it'll keep itself switched on because it keeps like a 15, 20 minute timer on itself. Yeah. Along this side here are your lights, main lights. Which are the ones around about? These ones here are the dimmer lights, which are the ones above the cabinets. Not those ones, the ones in front and back. And this one here is your awning light. Little LED showing you, I've just switched it off. It's on now. What's an awning light? Awning lights, the one outside here. Okay. I said lights out, outside, oh, that's good. Can you give us some treats? That, that you can do with your app. You can turn it on and off with your app. We'll go over the screen now. At the moment, it's showing dimmer level 100, or representing 100%. Yeah. What I'll do with these buttons is select the screen on whereabouts we go in it. So up or down, we'll take you round till we get back to dimmer level again. It's basically like a scroll. Right. There's about 11 options on it. 
the center button pointing in is your select button so what I'll do is I'll select it to go to 5% and that dims the lights down to 5% right okay cool. on your app you have a little slider on it so you can do all the mood mood lighting you like <laughs> with it but I've just turned it back up to 100% because you've gone a bit dingy in here this one here is your main power button press that everything in the in the caravan of, uh, except for the fridge cuts off that's your that's your main power on off so when you go out you might want to put that on yeah, yeah you can you can click it off with that one or turn them off with these so it's all lights out that one which is manually switchable by this one here <laughs> so we'll go around we'll start at the top go around till we come back to dimmer level explaining this one this one you may remember me telling you that's the thermometer for the heating here yeah the, the thermometer for this one is actually by the boiler down there and it's reading 12.1 degrees because this is your frost detector on the app you have a you have a uh, a frost detector that will warn you if your caravan is freezing right so take no notice of that that's not the room temperature the one on here is when it comes back to it, it should be about 16 degrees now so don't think that's the room temperature and turn the heating up because the room temperature is shown on this one right so going up again this is your amp limiter AC doesn't mean anything to do with AC, DC or heavy metal bands or anything. It's actually amp limit. If you go to a limited ampage pitch, some have only got six amps on them. What your caravan will do is do everything it can. If you're using the hairdresser and you click, click the ke uh, hairdryer and you click the kettle on, chances are it will trip the post. But if you set it at six amps on a six amp pitch, it won't. Right. I don't know if you know some some uh, sites you have to wait for the engineer to come out in the morning to get you to turn to, with the keys to turn it back on you haven't okay. experienced it yet this is just what I'm told okay. uh, some pitches have 10 amps available yeah. the ones here that love to stay have 16 yeah. and some are unlimited this basically is a safeguard to stop you tripping the post yeah. okay. so what happens when it does trip the trips the post you've got to go out in the rain and whatever okay. to get, get it switch it back on again we'll wait for the engineer to come in the morning when you book a site what their ac limit yeah. is we can ask i'm told them. they do yes get back out and do what sorry what? you reset have, to, you have to reset the post it's like a trip switch on oh the post. okay okay I'll do. if you if you overuse it and you only have in six times available okay it will trip the post, the post where it's plugged into though. yeah the post where you get your 240 names yeah. from it's basically what it is but like with this one you'd actually you can actually set tell your caravan not to trip the post if you get me drift so if it's a six amp site, you put it at six amp, it's a six ten amp. amp. Six amp, six amp site, you send it for six amp and it won't trip the post. Gotcha. No matter what you do, it'll actually won't let won't even let, let you turn you the kettle on or your hairdryer okay. on or anything like that. Okay, that's cool. Okay, then. So you keep within it. See, even at the moment, we're using 10.2 amps. So what it'll do, it's actually at the moment, it'll be turning the heating down to prevent us tripping the post, even though we can't here because we're an un unlimited. So six amp isn't much then? No. Right. Most are now 16. Okay. But if we run off the battery, our battery, if we're the, not the, connected the battery, to the, the battery is only 12 volts, right, okay. so it'll only really work the lights. It won't use and won't work the won't, won't work the um, the fridge or the microwave or anything like that. You need two for, need 230 for that. Right, okay. 12 volt will run your lights. Really. Okay. It's the fridge that's got to be on all the time, isn't it? Really, the fridge is on all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Cooling. Yeah. So is it on now? Yes. Okay. And if you're travelling, is it on? It'll either be on gas or electric while you're stationary, or the car will be keeping it going. Right, okay. So in storage, it won't be? No. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, leave, you wouldn't leave your fridge on in storage. No, but if, we, if you're travelling, so we can put like milk bottle in the, in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. The fridge well, well, isn't well, well, isn't it? No. Bloody gas, it was a fridge. you have to switch it on? <coughs> yeah, please. That so when we when we're traveling it's cooled by the car yeah get there when we set up it's all then okay you with your, car, your car battery will run it yeah okay no, I can't. I I check that. no lights Sorry about that. my assistant set this one up for me and you keep missing things off so that's your AC limiter I'll go around a little more 
this will actually let you select the car battery or the leisure battery but uh, normally when you when you plug it into the plug your caravan onto the car it will override this anyway this one is showing you've got solar panel which I'm not really sure you have on this one yeah, I don't no. I don't think you have just show, just go to show this is one this this one module fits all Swift caravans you've got two power supplies it's your leisure battery and your 240 mains up there uh, we don't have a bat uh, vehicle battery showing on there at the moment but if we did it would show your uh, battery car, car battery charge as well normally it would say uh, vehicle attached or engine running there when we've gone to vehicle battery here it's showing you your leisure battery charging this is your leisure battery by the way so that's a good charge for that should be with brand new if if your battery is on charge and is struggling to keep 12 volt that's about time when it is to get a new one right okay especially when you having a motor mover on you need the you need the the full battery charge right, okay. in that at all times because the, the motor so 12 is what the, you want really. the, the motor mover is is the the main power drainer yeah. of it which is basically like two large windscreen wipe, wiper motors moving your caravans go around a little more this if you wish to youtube uh, a demonstration on this system again yeah. is the what the, the what you put in the sergeant factor, sergeant ec620 this is basically this module we'll give you a video run through oh, of it again let me ask the man can she use the toilet is it not on the caravan no can't sorry no. it's got no chemicals in it you have to go and get it between the block then can you wait or do you need to go um, i don't know you can wait a little bit okay no i'd be good if i were you it's just plain me Okay. Don't know. Can you remember it? Can you no. Can you wait? Can you wait? Can you wait a bit? We're going to be a while. We are going to be a while. Do you need to go now? No. Oh. You tell mommy when you need to go, okay? I think she's just bored. Me too. Me too. <laughs> this uh, will need to go into to get uh, the system to talk to your mobile phone, which we basically pair them up by Bluetooth first. Right, use that Yeah. This, so we can tell the fridge what to do with your app. We can actually do it from here. I think it that way. You won't bother that way. Something you could, so just something else you can do with the app. This one we need to, if you want to use uh, the heating remotely, we need to go into this one. I'll, I'll show you how to do that now. It basically, this one turns that one off. So right. that you can talk to this one with your with your mobile phone to tell that one what to do. Right. Okay. I know it sounds a little bit complicated, but you don't actually talk to the heating directly. You talk to it through this. Okay. With your app. If you get me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what I'll do is I'll go into that and show you how to do it. Obviously, uh, heating control. At the moment, it's saying we use it. We can control it manually, which we can. So what I'll do is I'll click it over to app then press exit settings select again and it basically switch this one off as it should do in a moment it'll cut it off in a minute do we really need to do that then? I mean, yeah we do well, if you want to use if you want to use the heating you can see it's just switch it, just shut it off see nothing work nothing showing up on the top line heating's gone off now isn't it? heating's actually cut off yeah I can feel it because this has just switched it off Right. So now, ideally, it, it's the, basically you do that when you're leaving the caravan and want to turn the heating on. While you're not in the caravan. When, while you're not in the caravan. Right. But while you're in the caravan, what I'll do is I'll put it back to manual, because it's a yeah. bit chilly. Yeah. And if you don't put it back, it, you stuff to... If you, don't, if you don't put it back, you can try turning, those, turning this on all you like and it won't turn on. So you, okay, that's a bit of a fault finder then. So if, if you're struggling to hit the caravan, Yes. It's because we've got it on the app. What, what I'd recommend is don't try you try, don't try using the app to set your heating until you're familiar with it. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Keep yeah. It on Keep it on the manual. Yeah. Keep it on manual for the time being. You see, it basically wipes wipes the settings on it until until you're uber familiar with it. I wouldn't. You just just have a play with it. And you'll, okay. you'll, 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 I know you've got the video here and all of that, and you're listening to everything I'm yeah. telling you, but. I know. You, will, you will need to familiarise yourself. Yeah, with you're it. right. Yeah, yeah. In 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 your own time. Yes. Yeah. Over time. Over 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 over, over, time. over yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I, I just don't want it causing any arguments. Like, oh, Mick said this, Mick said that. No, we're not going there. We've got yeah. your number. <laughs> well, I'm leaving actually. Are so, you? Yes. Oh, right, okay. We'll, we'll find where you are. You'll find, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that used to be my job finding people. Is it? Yeah. All right, okay. <laughs> For different reasons altogether than caravans. But, um, so, yes. If you want me to run through getting it to talk to that one again, I will. Okay. I will. So, so you scroll around to heater settings to get this one to talk to that one via the app. We, put, we select, which is the middle button here, take it over. To app, app. again. Gotcha. Move your car, please. Wagon wants to get hanged. Okay, we can pause that a second. 